when's the next time I'm going to be able to live, work, and play in Guam um, at a time in my life that allows for that, let alone I'm here with one of my best friends. So when are our paths going to cross and it works out time-wise for her, it works out time-wise for me. So, I mean, it's beautiful. I loved being in Hawaii. I loved being on island time and just kind of on your days off, going to the beach and doing nothing, just sitting there, you know, it's, that's people's vacations for a week to do that and to be able to like live that life for as long as they'll let me, why not? You know? That's the response Tori Caprosio had when family and friends asked her why she decided to fly halfway around the world to temporarily work at the island's only public hospital. Caprosio, who has been a registered nurse for about seven years, explains what made her decide to get into such a field. I have always really just been interested in like helping people and um, the medical industry. I'm very like science and fact based. For the past two years, the girl from upstate New York has been a travel nurse love of travel and exploring instilled in her by her family. Her first assignment was in Asheville, North Carolina. And then at the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic, she was assigned to a White Plains hospital just outside of New York City. I had some pretty bad anxiety and like mental health issues after that that kind of messed me up a little bit. So I wanted to go somewhere new for the summer after that assignment, um, but still be close enough to home to my people. So I went to Connecticut, which was only like four hours away from my home in Syracuse. And then I took an assignment in Syracuse as a travel nurse um, for like the Christmas season so I could be home last Christmas. And then I went to Hawaii. I went to the Big Island for four and a half months this winter in the beginning of the year. And I went to Alaska for the summer and uh, here I am for the winter. She arrived on Guam the day after Thanksgiving and is here till the end of February of next year, working in the intensive care unit at the Guam Memorial Hospital. And just like with any job, there are bad parts that come with it. We are seeing people truly at the worst of the worst and us being at the bedside all day every day we can see like okay this is not going to end favorably um however if you kind of take a step back and you remember that that's not just a person in a bed like that's someone someone um helping someone to be able to also take a step back as their family member and be like look i know that this is an impossible situation this is not great for anyone but like what what do you really think we should be doing here so i think dealing with difficulty and impending loss with family that can't always see very clearly because it's their loved one that's their person you know so I think that's very challenging but there are also good parts seeing people progress succeed and being discharged it's absolutely remarkable to be able to be there and see the success and see people go from the worst of the worst to have a little hope and a little bit of faith. You can follow her adventures on Instagram at Travel Nurse Tori. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonathan Charfris.